because as most of you know, our schools teach us nothing about money. And um, a very important part about money is a subject called taxes. And since we don't study money at school, if you really studied it, you would find out that for money to exist, taxes have got to exist. And um, I'm gonna say some things today that'll disturb some of your true blue patriots out there who think that paying taxes is patriotic. That is the biggest lie told to people, that when people look at the real formation of the United States of America, it was really founded in 1773 with the Boston Tea Party, which was a tax revolt. And uh, if you look at it from that point of view, what I'll say, what I'm going to say, and my, uh, my advisor and my educator on taxes, my mentor is Tom Wheelwright. So if you have real red, white, and blue blood cursing through your veins and you think paying taxes is patriotic, your blood may turn cold right now because you've been lied to. So anyway, a uh, quick history here. Um, taxes can only exist unless there's debt and the US dollar is debt. And the way they pay get the money back is via taxes. And so a true capitalist, and I just finished this book here, if we ever get some paper to print it, it's called The Capitalist Manifesto. And it talks a lot about taxes because real capitalists don't pay taxes. And so it's gonna be an interesting program. This is Rich Dad's World. We don't want you to do anything illegal because you don't, because you don't if you know what you're talking about. But as you know, I'll say it again and I say it again. Our school system teaches us nothing about money. And if you really want to understand money, you must understand debt and taxes. Because in 1913, the Federal Reserve Bank was created. The Federal Reserve Bank is not federal. It has no reserves and it's not a bank. And also what was created was the 16th Amendment. And the 16th Amendment allowed there to be taxation. So when you look at history, you'll see 1913 was a pivotal year. So all you red, white, and blue communists out there who think that paying taxes is patriotic, you know, get my book here, The Capitalist Manifesto, because what I'm going to say today will make some of you go nuts because I make millions and millions and millions of dollars and pay no taxes. And when you understand that, I do add legally. So if you really want to have an education about money and finance and financial education, it's about debt and taxes. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free. So let me show you this. This, this here is book number two in the Rich Dad series. It's called the Cashflow Quadrant. So E stands for employees. So you go to school, they tell you go to school, get a job. But if you're really smart like Tom, you become, S stands for super smart. You become accountants, attorneys, and doctors. So Tom, who pays the most taxes of these characters here? Oh, that, definitely the S, definitely the super smart. The, 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 the more degrees you have, the more tax you pay. <laughs> I, it's, thank God you, most of your friends, Tom, are like me, C students. <laughs> We didn't qualify for this one here. Uh, that's for sure. You educate all of us oh, that as a general rule, and this is worldwide too, this is not just US. Right. And so Tom and I have traveled the world and employees pay about 40% in taxes. I'll say about that, and that's worldwide. And if you're a doctor, lawyer, self-employed, or like somebody says, I'm gonna quit my job and start my own business, you become a small business owner or a specialist I'm going to be a web designer. How much of these guys pay in taxes here? So that's what happens when people quit their job and start their own business without talking to Tom first. Okay, so big B stands for big business, which is according to the tax code, 500 employees. But B also stands for brand. Right. And most people don't build a brand here. So big business, like the big corporations, how much do they pay? Uh, typically around 20%. 20%. And again, what Tom instructs people, advises people, it's because we're doing what the government wants done. And so if you hire a lot of people, they'll give you a tax break. For and then I stands for investor, but it's an inside investor. In other words, over here, lots of people invest, but they invest in a 401k or an IRA. They invest in public market, like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, which I don't, I don't have any of those things. I don't want them, the tenants. 
Rich Dad's World Teaches Capitalism. So I'll read you something because this comes from this book here, The Capitalist Manifesto, because years ago, 1965, I read this book here, The Communist Manifesto by Marx. And Marx was just like my poor dad, an academic. And the trouble with academics is they're poor. They have no idea how capitalism works. So stay tuned to the end of this program to find out how capitalism works. So once you understood this, I understood my rich dad, why he did things the way he did. And my poor dad hated my rich dad. My rich dad's my best friend's father. And a rich dad had all these houses and he paid no taxes and he owned hotels. He was playing Monopoly and rich dad paid no taxes. And my poor dad being a communist, but didn't know it, he hated the rich. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.